Okay, sorry, my ruler demo um, didn't get recorded, so here we go again. Um, so you can use either inches or centimeters, and I just wanted to quickly demonstrate what those will look like. So inches are standard English type of measurement, and the difference between them and centimeters is they are divided into fractions. So each of these marks is a fraction of an inch. So uh, between one and two, you've got right in the middle is a half inch. And then each time you divide that in half, um, it's another fraction. So here's a quarter inch, an eighth inch, sixteenth of an inch, and so on. And it will show you right here, see it says 32. So my first three inches have 30 seconds of an inch marked on them. And then in this particular ruler over here, for between three and four, it's got 60 fourths of an inch. So that's really, really fine detail. We don't need to worry about any of those. And then over here from the rest of the ruler, it says 16, which means sixteenths of an inch. Okay, so each of these marks, basically you start with one inch all the way across, and you have half, and then you divide that in half and you get a quarter, divide that in half and get an eighth, by that again and get a sixteenth. Okay, so um, if you're comfortable using fractions, um, I, I'm used to using inches for my measurements. But um, if you are more comfortable using a decimal system, you can use centimeters or millimeters. So each of these numbers is one centimeter, and each of these little marks starting at, in the case of my ruler, starting at number 10, 10 centimeters, each of these is one millimeter. So the way to remember is one millimeter equals 0.1 centimeters, or one centimeter equals 10 millimeters. Um, so half a centimeter is five millimeters, um, and then each of these marks is one millimeter. Okay, so um, this particular ruler has half millimeters also marked on it. So it's got, in between each of these, it has 20 marks instead of only 10 over here. It's just kind of hard to see. We don't need that much accuracy again. For some people, it's easier to multiply and divide decimal points because you can use your calculator to do that really easily. So if you're more comfortable using centimeters, that's fine. Um, if you're using inches, just remember that anytime you want to divide a fraction in half, you just multiply its denominator by two. So if I have half of an inch and I want to divide half and ha half of an inch in half, it's going to be one over four. The denominator, the bottom number, is just multiplied by two. So that's one quarter or one fourth.